It's time to engage in CyberTalk with the Chief of Cybersecurity. Hello there, my audience. How are you doing today? Have you ever wondered whether there were some ways that you could manipulate data on a spreadsheet and use certain formulas in Excel? Well, today I'm going to help you out because there's a formula called VLOOKUP and concatenate that would help you out when you're trying to manipulate data on a spreadsheet. But first, let's go back in history. When I first started this industry, I was really working on spreadsheets and my main purpose was to manipulate data on a spreadsheet and make a determination on what assets need to be remediated. What I remember the most was that I had to use certain formulas like VLOOKUP and I had to make pivot tables and I had to make charts, but then I had to do reports. Today, we have automated tools to help us out. Tools such as Tenable, Brinka, CrowdStrike, and ServiceNow can all ingest data amongst each other. So the term ingest means that I can pull data from Tenable platform and I can ingest that data into ServiceNow. So the purpose of ingesting that data is to combine the data from two different sources so that you can see where you're most vulnerable because certain tools would give you certain results that other tools would not give you certain results. If you look at certain enterprises, they may use the Tenable platform to scan servers and they may use CrowdStrike just for their desktops. So when the scans are done, these enterprises like to combine that data and Brinka. But it works well. But what if you had to manually manipulate the data and to make spreadsheets so that you can see how to prioritize your vulnerabilities? So today I'm going to take time out and explain to you how to use be look up and concatenate because those are two formulas that you can use to combine data in your spreadsheets. And at the same time, you can see where you're most vulnerable. Now, I realize that most enterprises today do not use spreadsheets, but there's going to be some times when you have to. So let's get started. What I have is a spreadsheet with two different scans. One is called Tenable which was my previous scan. And I have Tenable New, which is my current scan. So what I need to do is to compare the results and to see what matches. Now I could copy and paste information from one spreadsheet to the next, but that's too time consuming. So the easiest way to make this operate is to use VLOOKUP and concatenate. Here's the reason why. When you use VLOOKUP, you can grab data from one source and you can combine it to the other source, but you have to have a or an identifier. What I mean by an identifier is that when you see a match, something has to be represented on a spreadsheet to show that they match. In this case, Whenever there was a match, I would get a yes in this column here. So I'm going to explain to you the steps on how I made this operate. Here are our most two critical columns we need to look at. The first one is your net bios, which is your host name. And the second one is your CVE. And your CVE is just something used to displaying your vulnerabilities and to classify your vulnerabilities. If you have never ever went to the MVD database and pulled some CVEs down before and took a look, I would definitely encourage you to do that so you can learn about CVEs. And every CDE, every CVE is 
reference to a vulnerability name. So for Tenable, plugin name is the name of the vulnerability. And plugin is just a number that is given for every vulnerability so that you can identify the vulnerability. But, but if you look outside of Tenable, the enterprises and everyone has a CVE number that corresponds to every vulnerability. So anyway, this is just a short tutorial on what CVEs are and how to use them. So here's kind of the way we're going to make this operate. The first thing I am going to do is to take concatenate here, and I am going to combine two sources. Those sources are my host name and my CVE name. Now, why would I want to do that? The reason I want to do that is because when you're using VLOOKUP, you have to identify one search criteria. So I have two search criteria that I want to use. So why don't I just combine them together? And when I combine those sources together, it makes it much more easier to identify what matches. If you look at the Tenable new spreadsheet, I have a helper column and I use concatenate over here as well too, to join the host name and the CVE. Here's the way, here's the way your concatenate formula works. It's very simple. You come here and you would choose two different sources to match. As you can see in the formula here, I would have to choose text one and text two or text three. So I'm only gonna choose two, two different text columns. So what I did was I chose column G and I chose column N and I combined both of those together. It's, it's a very simple formula. So all you have to do is do something like this. And I am going to do it over. So you'll see here. I'm going to type in G. Then I'm going to type in comma. And then I am going to go over here and find column in, which is what it was. Put in here and hit enter. Of course, you have to hit enter outside of the bracket. And bingo. Okay, it came up with name. So let's see what did we do wrong. Oh, we forgot to put the row number because you have to put the row number as well. So you put a two here and you put a two here. Bingo. And now what happens is that, that you can make this match every one of these by just copying it down like this and you can see the formula here when you copy it down it automatically updates so that's how you do concatenate very simple here's the next option let's think about vlookup what is our vlookup formula when you go to vlookup so you have to have a lookup value in this case, I want to go to B, B2, and I want to capture out of my helper column what I just created by using concatenate. And then I am going to go to Tenable New, and I am going to search between cell A2 and L98. And then I am going to bring column 11 over here when it finds the results. And then I'm going to have false, which means that I'm going to look for that exact value. So to break this down there and very small terms, so it can be understood. I want to go to column B2 and I want to search for that value over in the tenable new tab. But I am going to search the entire spreadsheet, which is A2 to L98, and I'm gonna search and make sure that in column column 11, whatever value is there, I'm gonna put that value in column A here, 
and it has to be an exact match. So in this case, when when we go here and we go to to like column 11, see we have the word yes. So we have A2 through L98 is pretty much this entire spreadsheet. And if you go to column 11, all of these helper IDs have a yes. So every time there's a match, I am going to get a yes here in column A. And as you can see, I have matches here. For those places that I do not have a match, NA goes there. This is very simple. It's a very easy way of matching your data. So when you start to use VLOOKUP, you would have to, number one, make sure you have a column that matches. I very well could have just went to use the host name, correct? And I can match the host name up and wherever I saw the host name, I could have probably just pulled in the CVE. You know, I very well could have did that, but I wanted to simplify it and just put a yes in that column. This is a very simple way of matching data in Excel. I will say that there are other ways that you can make it operate as well, too. You could possibly go and use Access. You could definitely use Python. You could definitely find other formulas that you could create. And if you know any other formulas that you can create, please post those in my LinkedIn chat window. I would definitely be glad to share those with everyone else that is listening to this video on YouTube. By the way, if you definitely have found use for this video, I want you to share your thoughts. If you have any questions, you can feel free to reach me on LinkedIn or Facebook because we all are in a place where we have to share information and I love sharing information. So until next time, I want you to take care and make sure you stay cyber safe. You've been listening to the Chief of Cybersecurity live stream. Please join the YouTube channel and purchase your copy of the Cybersecurity Mindset.